Hey, my lovelies, I don't know if you can see me, but you can hear me. So uh, today we are going to talk about all the cosmetics and all of the perfumes that are destroying your hormones. And I'm going to tell you how to uh, choose the better ones. It's very important because the research proves that even low level exposure to chemicals in cosmetics affects reproductive levels and fertility so probably things that are used you are using every single day such as makeup such as your mascara or the nail polish might be affecting your hormonal levels so what is important to see and what is important to check as the ingredients the parabens they might increase estrogen level there's actually one research that proves it and why it's so important because endometriosis is the hormonal illness every single endo girl have too high estrogen so uh, your job if you want to be endo free, you have to lower the estrogen. So you have to choose all the cosmetics that are SLS and parabens free. Did you know that synthetic chemicals in fragrance can mimic hormones? So you have to be very careful and choose um, clean beauty ideally. So everything with a wording fragrance, fragrance it's mean that potentially hundreds of ingredients are hidden in this word. So if you've got some moisturizer with a fragrance and you've got some body lotion with a fragrance, anything with a word fragrance is indicates that it's a lot of chemicals and God knows what. Parabens are found in perfumes. They are synthetic preservatives. So they are preserving uh, all the ingredients. That's why p uh, the beauty industry is using the parabens. But parabens in perfumes are very uh, tricky ones because you have to know that um, the parabens that you are inhaling getting to your body stream uh, quicker than through your skin. So it's very, very important. So the perfume tips, my lovelies, do not ever, ever spray the perfumes on your bare skin. Uh, once upon a time, I uh, used to uh, believe that you should be spraying um, perfumes on the points where you've got uh, your uh, blood uh, flowing the most, which is on your wrist, on your neck and behind your ears. This is how my grandma <laughs> teach me. Uh, don't do that. Don't put any perfumes on your skin. Don't put any perfumes on your hair as well, because your hair can absorb it. If you have to spray it, spray it on your clothes only. This is what I'm doing. I'm still using perfumes, but I'm very mindful, you know, how I'm using it. And I'm uh, not uh, spraying it all over myself. And like, you know, I'm not creating the mist all over myself. Uh, I'm just protecting my airways. This is what comes first. Okay. So that's the co uh, perfume tips. The cosmetics. Choose the clean beauty. I know the clean beauty is more expensive now than the normal standard cosmetics, but you can still choose the good cosmetics on the budget. And how are you going to do that? I'm going to link the video where I talk in depth uh, about the cosmetics. You're going to see uh, which app uh, I'm using and you're going to see even uh, how I'm beating the uh, cosmetics because it's so many of them like for example i have to be in uh, my uh, rimmel foundation i have to be in uh, charlotte tilbury lipstick so all this famous brown uh, that are not really good for you so how do you do it how you check if the cosmetics uh, are actually or the perfumes are uh, good for you or don't uh, contain the endocrine disturbance uh, ingredients which are disturbing your uh, endocrine system which means your hormonal system a uh, very simple screenshot this one or write it down research product of on e 
WG Skin Deep. This is the website that got very big database. Or try the apps. They are the apps that are free to download is EWG Healthy Living or Dirty Dozen or Think Dirty or Detox Me. Basically, what you're doing, you're literally scanning the barcode of the product, um, any product, and it comes up. Uh, usually, it's a co a color coded, which means the green one is the um, uh, safe and the more uh, towards the um, red ones. This is the thing uh, that indicates that you have to uh, avoid it altogether. Okay. Very, very simple. So let's wrap it up and let's recap. All you have to know is that the cosmetics and things that you are using daily, yes, even the hand wash, believe it or not, contain the things that are mimicking your hormones and that are disturbing your hormones. And we don't want that. Anything with a fragrance have to go. If you want to use the perfumes, Please be mindful and don't spray it around your, uh, you know, your skin. Just put it only on your clothes and just make sure that you uh, exit the room the minute you spray it. You don't want to be there and inhaling all this. Okay. So this is uh, another day. I'm going to see you tomorrow. Hopefully my camera is going to work better. <laughs> than today but i'm gonna see you tomorrow let me know what you think and see you very shortly i love you so much bye